Hello, welcome to the Sega Mega Drive special. In this first game, we've got Contra Heart Corps, and this is an absolutely fantastic game on the Mega Drive. Really shows off its power. Music's great, sound effects are great. Excellent game. This is recommended for your Mega Drive if you've got one. Nine out of ten. Alien Soldier is a great game, also on the Mega Drive. The graphics are great, the gameplay is fluid and fast and responsive, the music's good as well. This is a great game for your Sega Mega Drive, a worthy addition. Eight out of ten. Gunstar Heroes, another great game on Sega Mega Drive. Here it is. Have some of that. On Gunstar Heroes, the graphics are amazing. There's a parallax scrolling and beautifully drawn, and there's fast, fluid action. A lot of stuff going on at the screen right now. It can uh, really show off what the Mega Drive is quite capable of. Pure 16-bit power. Have some of that. Yes, a very fun and challenging game. I highly recommend this game. I'm going to be giving this one a 9 out of 10. Thank you very much. Midnight Resistance is an excellent coin up conversion of the arcade machine. Solid, fast, fluid gameplay. This is really what we're talking about. They couldn't have done a better job. Midnight Resistance for the Sega Mega Drive. She nearly won me over then. So we keep going. Just up this ledge, um, you, you have to pick up these uh, like sort of keys or whatever they are, and they open up weapons and stuff. But every time you get shot, or you, you uh, lose them all, so you have to pick them up again. And sometimes you can lose them forever. And watch out for this boss right here. Have some of this. There we go, I destroyed the tank vehicle thing. <laughs> I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Golden Axe was an excellent uh, Mega Drive uh, conversion of the coin-up machine. It's almost arcade perfect. There is a few technical limitations of the Mega Drive compared to the arcade machine, but it's very, very good nevertheless. Here it is in action. Golden Axe supports two players simultaneously as well, so you can work together with a friend. Hit these uh, little rascals here and you can get more magic potions. These can be used as to cast a spell.
Golden Axe was quite intuitive because you can uh, get on this this animal and like use him as additional power to destroy your defeat your enemies and your foes. I'm gonna give this one eight out of ten. There were plenty of Double Dragon games on the Sega Mega Drive. This is Double Dragon 2. Pretty fun, but it's very challenging. I was not very good at this at all. I'm going to give this one a nice 7 out of 10. Mickey Mania was a very good Mickey Mouse game. There were plenty of other Mickey Mouse games on the Mega Drive and this one's called Mickey Mania. As you can see Mickey is very well drawn. This, le this first level is set in the olden days so that's why it's black and white. Just to mimic black and white film. But you can see as in the game Mickey Mouse is colour. Very well animated and very well made game for your Sega Mega Drive. So I've got onto this platform, the crane's going to take me across, so this is how you do this bit. And then you're on to the next scene. I highly recommend this one. This one has got great graphics, great music and very fluid and nice animated detail to the sprites. Very good. 9 out of 10. Who could have a Sega Mega Drive video without a Sonic game? This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 the sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog 1 of course for the Sega Mega Drive. This one supported two player split screen which is quite an achievement considering how fast the game is. Very good game and, and uniquely as well if you play the one player mod like I'm playing now you player two control pad can control tails. Sonic 2 Mega Fun had a special 3D stage which was impressive and I'm going to give it 10 out of 10! <laughs> Battle Toads was a coin up conversion of the arcade machine. Very impressive. A, a nice beat em up. As you can hear, the music is very good, the sound effects are good and the graphics are excellent. A great fun game, very challenging and will give you a lot of fun. So, there you go! Just like other games similar of nature, you can pick up weapons and stuff to hit the baddies with as well. Or you can just use your fists. This is a great fun game. This also supports two-player cooperative mode. There is a level later on in the game where you are on this fast-moving vehicle going fast. <laughs> it's very challenging, I'm telling you. I'm telling you that is very challenging and for the difficulty curve it can be quite brutal. I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10.
Here is a very excellent comic zone for the Sega Mega Drive. Now this is a unique original game where you can take place in a comic strip which is live animated. You can see the artist drawing on the enemy right there. Very very clever stuff on this game. Well made, excellent for a 16-bit console. It's one of the later, later games in the Mega Drive's life and they really push the boundaries with this one. Excellent graphics, excellent music, very fast gameplay and really well programmed. If you've got a Mega Drive, definitely get this game. Even if you don't like the genre, you're probably still going to like this game, it's that good. It's very challenging as well. Highly ambitious game that paid off and I'm going to have to give this one a massive top score of 10 out of 10. <laughs> Batman from Sunsoft was a good game. It was a, like a side-scrolling Batman style beat-em-up and it's very well programmed uh, and the graphics are great, the music is excellent, one of some of the best Mega Drive music I've heard actually and uh, yep so I'm gonna um, have a look at this one this is level 2 of the game Axis Chemical Plant very good game fits in well with the Batman movie and yeah so a worthy addition I'm uh, going to uh, be giving this one an 8 out of 10. Super Thunderblade was the Mega Drive's take on the arcade machine Thunderblade. It's a very good uh, helicopter flight simulator st style game. It's got this uh, this uh, point of view view and it's also got a top down view in later levels. Very good, very hard, challenging game. <laughs> Graphics are good, music's okay and I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Altered Beast was a com another car arcade coin-up conversion. Now this one uh, was one of the early Mega Drive games and it's very good actually. It's well made, it's, it's very uh, close to the uh, coin-up machine. It does have a certain atmosphere feel to it as well which makes it good. Very good game, good graphics, quite slow gameplay but it's still very good in my opinion. This one sometimes gets mixed reviews, but I quite like this one, personally. Now the objective of the game on this one is to get these power pills, which can make you stronger in three stages, and the third stage, you turn into a wolf, or a different creature depending on which level you're on. So I'll get one again, as you can see. If I just grab this, if I can get it. And now as you can see I've metamorphined into a werewolf or wolf or whatever it is. And I can like do this now and use this as power. He's the boss. And he's the boss. The first level. 
and you just keep throwing these at him and he, sh he uh, seems to be throwing lots of heads at you for some reason but there you go as you can see it's, it's well drawn and the graphics for such an oldish game the, the graphics are good and the music's good Altered Beast is a nice classic and a, a worthy addition to anyone's collection on the Mega Drive. As, as aforementioned, it's got, it does seem to have an atmosphere to it and it's played best in stereo sound. So if you plug your headphones or your hi-fi into your Mega Drive to get the uh, stereo sound from the 3.5mm jack, it's best played like that. And I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. A true classic is next. This one is called Robocop vs Terminator. As you can see it's very gory. So it's probably uh, it's got good music, it's got good sound, it's got great parallax scrolling, it's very fast and fluid. It's got different various level design and uh, yeah so this is a fantastic addition to your Mega Drive collection. Have some of that. They do it. They do um, implode in a funny way. Yeah, the the, uh, the the baddies will shoot you from all directions and from inside the house windows and stuff as well. You can actually uh, go across that line and use it to get fast places. And you can get different weapons, as you can see. And he's he's like the boss, the first bit. You just have to keep shooting him eventually. He will uh, die in a spectacular way. I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10. Dynamite Heady from Treasure was an absolute must for your Mega Drive. This shows some very uh, impressive special effects and techniques that was never thought possible on the Mega Drive and uh, I'm only showing this boss stage because I'm going to uh, cover this game in more depth um, at a later date but yes yeah, so this is Dynamite Heady and um, it's a very good uh, game for your Mega Drive and it's um, going to get a massive 10 out of 10 sorry I didn't show more of it on this particular video but that's coming up in a future video There was plenty of Castlevania games on other systems, but not so many on the Mega Drive. But this is a great one that come out. It's called Castlevania New Generation. It's got excellent graphics, excellent music, excellent sound. It really does feel like a proper true uh, Castlevania game. And it's brilliantly made and it's very um, fun. So I'm going to say that you should get this one definitely, if you can. It's probably quite rare <laughs> and expensive, but yeah. I might be wrong on that, I'm d I don't know for sure, I'm just guessing. So it probably won't surprise you that I'm going to give this a high review and it's going to get 9 out of 10. Strider, another coin-up machine conversion, is a great game on the Mega Drive. Good use of colour, good use of graphics. Very good game for your Mega Drive. I'm going to be giving Strider 
8 out of 10. Darius 2 is an excellent side scroller shoot him up in the form of R type. Excellent graphics, excellent music, excellent fast gameplay, it's a really good game. I do apologise for the glitches. That was down to my uh, capture card. So, but yeah, this is a very good game for the Sega Mega Drive. I highly recommend this one. This one gets 8 out of 10 from me. Here we have a Mortal Kombat game. This is Mortal Kombat 3 on the Sega Mega Drive. Mortal Kombat 3 is an excellent sequel to a sequel for the Mega Drive. It's more of the same but with more players and more stages and stuff. So yeah, Mortal Kombat 3, a brilliant fighting game for the Sega Mega Drive. Great graphics, great sound, full of speech and stuff like that and gore and stuff. So yes, yeah, so this one is a good game and it's going to get 8 out of 10. You can't possibly have a Mega Drive special video without a Road Rash game and this is no exception, this is Road Rash 3 from Electronic Arts for the Sega Mega Drive. A fast motor motorcycle race, well it's not really a racer, it's more of a get to, well it is a racer yeah because you have to get to first place but yeah so like a sort of motorcycle beat em up game. Good graphics, good sound, good music, nice and fast and fluid, good 3D and um, yep, this is Wild Rush 3. I'm going to give Wild Rush 3 7 out of 10. Next up we've got Mega Swiv. Now this is a game like based on the old Swiv games. I think uh, that was a coin machine as well, Swiv. And yeah, so this is Mega Swiv on the Mega Drive. This one's got good graphics, good sound, good music. So yeah, pretty top notch uh, shoot em up. Ouch! Of some of that. I'm gonna give Mega Swift 7 out of 10. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the Sega Mega Drive special. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Goodbye.